New sled in the house. Tundra 2. 1995. There's no R. It's not a Tundra R. So there's no reverse. It's good old Armstrong reverse, if that's what you want to call it. That is in the Power Mods lineup. 1995. Looks like I got a quick little paint job before I got it. You know, I traded the... Uh, 2016 RMK for this <laughs> and that'll land up there and a couple of engines in the back of the machine or the back of the truck this is the long track uh, I wanted the long track because they work better track is actually really good on this the, the clips are a little wonky but it's all good works pretty well one thing we noticed was uh, She's got a wee bit of a hole in the exhaust air button and I can hear it popping. She's popping and that's no good. So uh, I have the ability to fix that. So I'm going to bring it in and I'm either going to weld it up or I'm going to source out a new one. If any of you guys know where I can get a, an exhaust for this 277, let me know because I don't want to ride it, drive it like that. It's no good. It runs really well actually. It came with another hood. But you know what? I like this hood. It looks pretty good. A little crack in it. It's okay because I'm probably going to crack it again. Hey, what do you think, bud? It's nice. You like that, right? Yeah. It's comfy. It's well, how does it how does it compare to this though? It sounds completely different because of that ridge. Because <laughs> the air leak, yeah, it's it's popping in my ears pretty hardcore. But you know, um, the Tundra 2 there, it's got a Comet clutch on it, which works really well. And uh, just come to think of it, I've got a Comet clutch I can put on that 277 engine, which will work just Jim Dandy. Oh, and look what happened here. I need to point this out to all the YouTube viewers out there. Remember I just fixed that in the video? Didn't I just make this like brand new? Didn't I, Kai? Were you there when I did that? I think you were. Look at that. It's like it got his face punched in. Yeah. That's okay. We'll just go to the Skidoo dealership. We'll buy a new lamp. <laughs> Ah, it's all good. I've been known to smash up the odd sled myself. Well, when you're dealing with that much horsepower, bud, you're bound to lose control at some point. Right? So we've got these two rippers. Yeah, here, look at this common clutch. It came with a tool kit, too. I'm pretty happy about that. See, it's got the Comet in there. Oh, yeah. That's the same as the 335. Yeah, I've got, yeah, it's the same as the 335. All we need to do is just... Uh, just kind of um, uh, tune it a little bit differently, different spring. But it'll be pretty close. So we can put it on that, and then it'll work way better. Now, of course, the predecessor was a leaf sprung. And I just bought two of those as well. So we're going to do a little bit of tundra fixing up. Because I forgot how much uh, I kind of like these. Now, you can't really bushwhack with them the same way that you can your lands. There's just no way. It's impossible. I've owned, I don't know, 15 of these? 20 of them? I don't even know how many tenders I've owned. But it's got that nasty, cancerous, rusty stuff on there. So maybe we'll redo that. But I've got in a whole other tunnel for this that's mint. But it's for the leaf spring one. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll sandblast that. She's been trailered. That's why that... That's why that rusts like that. Because it's either been trailered, going ice fishing, or it's been ripped up and down roads with salt on it. You can tell just by the... Just by the... Uh, see that bolt there? She's been in a nasty environment. So I knew it was running lean. I could hear it popping and... That exhaust, though, that'll do it. But I'm digging it. I like the old Tundras. I love the Tundras. They replaced this with the Tundra RF in 06. And I bought one of those brand new. I, I paid, it was 56 or all in was 56 or 7,600 bucks, something like that. And it was horrible. Right? Hey? That was the one that just went. Right, just nosedives into the... Oh, it had the A-arms on the front. It was a horrible...
horrible machine. I sold it after the first run. Took a major loss on it, but I had to get rid of it because it wouldn't work in deep snow. These worked way better because it's got the belly pan. Got the belly pan, it goes like that, right? And then there's the 299 Yellow Bomber. Working well, kind of. Popping a little bit. A lot. Popping a lot. Yeah, we'll have to dial that in too. But we're almost at the end of the season. Uh oh, what's going on here? It better represent. Representing. Yeah, and then we'll check out the other land we got. That right there is just. I like the old, uh, I love that color hood there with that little racing package stripe. Make it go fast. We'll tidy that one up too. I think we, what do we have now? How many lands are we back to? Was seven? Nine. <laughs> yeah, this one has a seat. The seat's mint. Check it out. Check it out. Right on. Okay, well, let's do some ripping. We're going to shoot another video. We're going to do some speed runs. See how fast these things go. You know how fast a uh, Tundra 2 goes, Kai? 217. Miles or kilometers? Miles. Miles. We're going to wind them out. I wonder which one's faster. Which one's faster? Do you think the, the Tundra 2 or the Elan 277? Do you put like the Scandic chain case in that one? It's a different gearing. I can't add that's top secret. That's skunk works kind of stuff. I'm not allowed to say. Uh, that's what it boils down to though. It boils down to your drive cogs and your upper and lower gears. And a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, the resistance on the drivetrain and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we'll come back. Let's go ripping. Oh boys. Yeah. I think she's got a leak in her. Just a wee one. Gonna have to break out the JB weld. That's the minnow net right inside there.